Welcome back. Breaking news coming in from Karnataka. Former BJP leader and uh, former Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister Lakshman Savadi has joined the Congress. And this is what State Congress President D.K. Shiv Kumar uh, said just a short while ago. We'll uh, go across to Shrija in a moment. First, let's listen into what was said. <laughs> All right, that was quite muffled. But Shrija, uh, Lakshman Savadi, uh, was, it was known that he was unhappy. He resigned uh, from the BJP on the day the list was announced and he did not feature in the list. And now he's uh, joined the Congress. Give us more details around this. Well, soon after the BJP's first uh, list was announced, we could, of course, see, uh, you know, disappointment, Galore. Uh, we're not just talking about one or two, uh, you know, sitting MLAs, even including some of the senior BJP stalwarts, because BJP has always, uh, you know, known to have especially uh, its stalwarts. Now we're looking at a change, a new generational shift is what we're looking at. BJP is, in fact, are picking up new faces while they seem to have ignored the old faces of or the loyalists of the BJP. So one, of course, the biggest development right now, what we're looking at is Mr. Lakshman Savdi. Now, Lakshman Savdi was, uh, you know, he, he is an MLC. He's still an MLC, though he has all just submitted his resignation, tendered his resignation uh, to the chairman, but it has to be accepted. So, until then, we should really refer to him as uh, the MLC. But right now, what we do know is that, uh, you know, DK Shiv Kumar, the KPCC, the Congress chief, has made it official saying that Mr. Lakshman Savdi will be joining the Congress, which means it will happen in a short while from now. We are reporting right outside the Congress office here in Bengaluru. And definitely, if you're talking about, you know, the political ramifications of Mr. Lakshman Savdi joining the Congress, uh, it has come as a huge blow. Uh, for the BJP because you have several of, you know, several of the turncoats who are also requesting him not to do so because, you know, several of them who had quit the Congress and joined the BJP have been requesting him not to do so. It would be a big mistake. Uh, but however, he's very disappointed because the BJP denied him a ticket and uh, also just about a week ago, just before the BJP could announce its list, he had a meeting with the Panchamasali Lingais. He was very vocal about the fact that how the BJP should not go ahead and give Mr. Uh, Mahesh Kumtali the ticket because Mahesh Kumtali was in the Congress before and he is a turncoat. He jumped the ship from the Congress to the BJP. This was, you know, when a bunch of them both together, that is the Congress and the JDS put together, 17 of them had, uh, you know, toppled the coalition government, the JDS and the Congress back uh, in 2019 and also bringing the BJP back to power. So the BJP has now uh, given Mr. Mahesh Kumathali the ticket from Athini constituency. Now, back in 2018, when Lakshman Saudi in fact, fought the elections from Athini uh, constituency in BJP ticket, he had lost that particular constituency to Mahesh Kumathali, who is a turncoat right now. So the BJP has gone ahead and given him the ticket. So so it has come as a huge blow, a setback to him as well. He's been questioning the kind of service that he's done for the party and why exactly did the BJP party ignore him. So to give it basically in a way back to the BJP, we see that he will be joining the Congress today, the principal opposition here in the state, who's forced uh, to give a very, very tough fight as far as the BJP is concerned, because right now the BJP is facing a strong anti-incumbency wave and which the Congress says that they are very sure of a win in terms of really giving an, us the numbers at least about 141 seats. Now, to talk about Mr. You know, Lakshmi Saudi, he, he, he really has a very uh, stronghold as far as North Karnataka is concerned. He, of course, has a strong following as far as the Lingayat community is also concerned. He's Remember, he's also one of the loyalists of Mr. Uh, B.S. Yadirapa, who, of course, uh, was, in fact, forcefully ousted from his throne, uh, you know, back in 2021 by the BJP High Command. And But in a way to placate the Lingayat and the Bukaliga community, he was also back inducted, especially in the BJP parliamentary board. So right now, not just Lakshman Savdi questioning the fact that on what basis is the BJP trying to ignore uh, the BJP's uh, senior leaders and the stalwarts, but also there have been a huge, uh, you know, uh, 
basically disgruntlement within the party several of them in fact threatening to the to quit the party just about yesterday we went out to see a number of protests across the state of karnataka like byatarayanapura haveri uh, gadag you know various of the bjp aspirants uh, who did not get ticket they have been in fact uh, protesting right before the bjp office some of the senior people and also to speak about you know here what's happening in bengaluru at the bs yadurappa's office well of course the bjp has you know uh, the state president whether that is nalin kumar katil or other senior leaders or even for that matter the bjp's national general secretary ct ravi you're looking at a huge b line uh, you know of people especially bjp aspirants and also those who got tickets in fact lining outside uh, kaveri which is the residence of bsc edurappa either some of them thanking him for the ticket or some of them in fact uh, you know trying to lobby for a ticket trying to you know ask him to push uh, so that they get the ticket so that is the kind of uh, command that he still holds as far as uh, you know bsc edurappa is concerned but really what's really going to happen or how it's going to transpire for the bjp it's not really known much but what we do know yeah, is that also if uh, you know right now with dk shiv kumar confirming the induction right mr savadhi is also seen to be close to uh, mr yadurappa and uh, so how big of a setback is this the five leaders so far have uh, you know resigned over these last two days and uh, and does this create complications in the congress because earlier we do know there were some complications in you know taking back leaders or who had earlier left and joined the bjp and are now returning so between dk shiv kumar and sidaramaiya so does this cause any sort of issues in the congress as well Well, firstly, of course, it was Mr. Jagdish Shetty because he was the first one of the first uh, uh, to, especially, boy, be very vocal about how he's disappointed with the high command. Uh, you know, initially it started off with Mr. K. S. Ishwarapai. He himself. voluntarily uh, shooting a letter to jp nadda the dash president saying that uh, it's uh, the time has come for him to especially resign from electoral politics the next what we saw was especially mr jagdish shetter he's also one of the senior leaders of the bjp in fact uh, he did threaten to especially draw, uh, you know maybe if the bjp fails to give him the ticket he will show what he can do which means either he could stand as an independent candidate so all these are the senior leaders that we're talking about of course it is a big blow uh, to the bjp because they have built the base um, in the last 5 years they have worked in that particular constituency but now we see bjp has gone ahead and given the chance to new faces so how much of that experiment will prove beneficial for the bjp is we have to wait and watch when the you know elections happen